Hi, and welcome to Becoming More Productive, a how-to guide. In this series, we're going to look at three different apps by Google that will make your life more organized and maybe more productive. So there's Calendar, Keep, and Tasks. In this video, we're going to look at Google Keep. So the goal is to take our lives from millions of post-its that we put all over our computer and our desk to help us remind us of things and to-do lists down to a digital place where we can put all these things and stay organized and access them from everywhere. Keep is a note-taking service from Google. It quickly lets you save notes on things you want to remember, including voice notes, to-do lists, and pictures. Some uses for Google Keep are that you can create notes, you can create to-do lists and check off those to-do list items. You can set reminders and not only set reminders for time and date, but if you put the Google Keep app on your cell phone, you can, you can access it to remind you when you arrive at a certain location. You can add collaborators and share your notes and to-do lists. You can add images for those people that are visual learners. You can help stay organized by putting different colors on your Google Keep notes and adding different labels to be able to sort by different labels. Some of the benefits are, the first one is, if you're writing a research paper essay, you can organize all of those notes that you're taking into Google Keep. And then when you open up a Google Doc, you have the keep on the sidebar and this will um, pop up and you can see um, your notes. Um, you can save time by adding comment, common comments from keep. So you can make a list of those common things that you're constantly having to put at, in as you're correcting a paper into a list. And then when you're in a Google Doc or part of the Google Suite, you can pull up your Google Keep on the side. You can grab and save your whiteboard notes. If you've put a bunch of notes on the whiteboard, you can snap a photo and add it to your Google Keep. You can connect to-do lists with other people. You can save websites to a note with one click. So if you have the Google Keep extension in your web, Chrome web browser, you can just click on that extension and it will save those websites. You can also move big, big notes to Google Docs with one click. So if you have a lot of notes and you want to turn those notes into a Google Doc, there's a simple way to do that. You can record inspiration when it happens. We don't always have a paper and pencil handy when we're out and have an idea. If you have your cell phone and a Google Keep app, you can quickly record those. Google Keep allows you to search your ideas. So it has a search feature and you can search through all your Google Keep notes. You can get reminders when and where you need them. And it, it can transcribe printed notes or words into text. So if you have a photo or an image that has printed words, you can have it transcribe those into text. Google Keep is like a bulletin board you can keep with you wherever you go. It's perfect for organizing ideas or quickly jotting down inspiration. Let's take a tutorial of Google Keep. So here is my Google Keep. So when you need a new note, it looks like this. So you just click on take a note and add your title, note and then type your note here. And then you can do different things with it. You can set a reminder of a time, a place, like your home or work. You can even pick the date and time or pick the place. Like say you need it at Office Max. Then you can find the Office Max near you. And when you arrive at Office Max, if you have it on your cell phone, it will pop up. You can add collaborators, other people that have a Gmail address. You can add different colors and images. So if you have an image saved, you can add it. 
then it, you can archive your note, you can add more, you can delete your note, you can add a label over here or your different labels, so it will sort your notes by those categories. You can add a drawing, so you can draw here, I'm just going to scribble down my name real fast, I'm on a trackpad, it's easier if you're on a touch screen device. And that will go in as a little image. Other things you can do when you click on the three dots, you can turn your note into check boxes. And then when you finish those items, you can cross them off your list. You can, this is where you grab image from a text. So if you have an image that has text in it, that's where it can insert the text right into your note. And you can copy this to Google Docs. So if you had a lot of information, you wanted to put it into a Google Doc. If you click the copy to Google Doc, it will create a Google Doc and insert your note into that Google Doc. So here are some of the many different ways you can use it for different to-do lists. I like to have a Google Keep for each class I teach. So then I can put myself reminders or to-do lists. I can sort by just my classes. So these notes are got labels for classes and school, archive and trash. And then it can sort by just notes or notes that have reminders on them. You can also look at it differently. So up here, if you click on, you can look at it in a list view instead of the, so it's just the list of all of them. Or you can go back to the grid or tile view. Um, you can also, when you're working in Google Docs, you have these three items that we're going to talk about in this series. So here's the Google Keep one. So when you open it up, you have your Google Keep. And then if you want, if you have something in the Google Doc you want into the Google Keep, so this is my references for this video, I can simply highlight them, right click, and save to keep and it creates a note with my references or I could go back the other way and insert them this way. If you have a website, let's say we're on our website for the class and you want to remember this website, you just have the Google Keep extension and you click on that little extension, it creates the note. You can add other things to help your mind and then when you go back to Google Keep, there's the note with that um, website on it. And you can see other websites I've added to other notes. So it helps you stay organized. And here are, if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you for listening. Here are my references for this video. And also, I got the template for this Google slide so from Slides Carnival. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed Google Keep.